Um, so everybody's saying, oh, the cherry blossoms are out and going and my nose is starting to run. My eyes are starting to itch. And yes, we are about to enter the spring and allergy season. So one of the questions we get quite often is how to differentiate between allergy symptoms and say COVID or the common cold or the flu. Um, and, and that gets um, where we have to pay attention to ourselves. So most people who have had allergies have had them before. So that's actually the best thing is you can say, oh, my nose is running. I have a little tickle in the back of my throat because my nose is running in the opposite direction. Um, and you probably can recognize those symptoms. Uh, they probably are not new to you. Um, and if you feel that you need to clear your throat, your nose is running, but you otherwise feel pretty good, that's probably your allergies, especially if it's accompanied by itchy eyes um, and other things. Uh, things and you they only happen when you go outside those kind of things uh, let you know about al allergic triggers uh, cold uh, we think that uh, the cold symptoms of runny nose earache sore throat um, and generally no fever are things that come with the common cold uh, differentiating again between say the flu and COVID does get a little bit more tricky. And sometimes this is when you really do need to call your doctor and get advice. But typically the difference between influenza, uh, the, the virus that causes the flu is kind of total body fatigue, uh, malaise, um, fever, uh, sore throat, uh, cough, runny nose, et cetera. Uh, COVID is you can have a fever and sometimes quite high, similar to the influenza, but really it tends to be lower respiratory with, with coughs and shortness of breath. And the big differential between um, what we're seeing now is really the shortness of breath characteristic that comes with the COVID uh, that you don't typically see in with the flu. But I think if you have any concerns, um, you should call your physician. The nice thing that's happening is as we're, we're ending the flu season. So um, the flu season is uh, seasonal and cyclical and we're coming to the end. And so uh, if you have those symptoms and you're concerned, the best thing to do is call your physician or your other healthcare providers.